NFT in architecture, designing in metaverse. Half a million dollars for a virtual house on Mars? A Toronto buyer spent over half a million dollars on a digital home, making it the first sale of an NFT, non-fungible token, residence. The home, called Mars House, by Krista Kim, the digital artist who created it, is a 3D virtual space that can be accessed through augmented reality or a VR headset. The house is made entirely of light and features a zen, healing atmosphere. Some people have questioned the sanity of spending half a million dollars on a virtual house that you can't actually live in. But others see it as a sign of the times. In the age of NFTs, digital assets are becoming increasingly valuable. And as the metaverse continues to develop, virtual homes like Mars House could become more commonplace. What is non-fungible token? The word fungible means a product or commodity replaceable by another identical item, or mutually interchangeable. For example, craft papers can be defined as fungible items. You can easily replace them if you lose them, as they are sold in most craft stores. While the beautiful handcrafted gift made using craft papers for your mother can be called a non-fungible item. You can't replace them for anything else. Now, what is a token? It can be defined as a thing serving as a visible or tangible representation of a fact, quality, feeling, etc. It can also be defined as a voucher that can be exchanged for goods or services, typically one given as a gift or forming part of a promotional offer. In the context of NFTs, a token is a unique digital identifier that is recorded on a blockchain. It is used to certify ownership and authenticity of an asset. NFTs can be used to represent a variety of assets, including digital artworks, collectibles, and even real estate. Let us understand the technology behind NFT. Blockchain. Blockchain technology is a decentralized system of thousands of computers distributed around the world. These computers record information about transactions that take place on the network. Valid transactions are approved, while invalid transactions are blocked. The value of blockchain technology lies in its security and transparency. All transactions are recorded on the blockchain, which means that they cannot be changed or hacked. This makes blockchain technology ideal for recording financial transactions, as it provides a secure and transparent way to track the movement of money. Another benefit of blockchain technology is that it is decentralized. This means that there is no central authority like a bank that controls the network. Instead, the network is controlled by the computers that participate in it. This makes blockchain technology more resistant to censorship and manipulation. A simple analogy for how blockchain technology operates can be compared to how a non-editable Google Docs document works. Instead of copying or transferring, Google Docs are shared with a group of people. This provides a decentralized distribution chain that offers everyone simultaneous access to the base document, which cannot be amended, increasing security. NFT for Architects Imagine hosting a business meeting at your virtual home, a breathtaking mansion. A magnificent, pillar-less curved metal structure reminiscent of Zaha Hadid's designs hovers above. This architectural masterpiece in Metaverse was acquired as an NFT and accessed digitally with encrypted codes. In contrast, your physical residence is a small apartment in a bustling, polluted city. This exemplifies the future of NFTs in architecture, unleashing boundless creativity and transcending physical limitations. What is Metaverse? The Metaverse is an emerging 3D digital space that uses virtual reality, augmented reality, and other advanced technologies to create lifelike experiences online. It will have three key features, immersion, interactivity, and agency. Ultimately, the metaverse will allow people to interact with each other and with the environment in a seamless and immersive way. For architects, the metaverse offers a new frontier for design. Architects can create virtual spaces that are anything from realistic recreations of existing buildings to entirely new and fantastical worlds. The metaverse will allow architects to explore new ideas and possibilities, and to create spaces that are both functional and visually engaging. Example of Metaverse Architectural Design 
Zaha Hadid Architects has designed a cyber-urban metaverse city called Liberland. The city is designed to be a libertarian micronation where residents can buy vacant lots and access them as avatars. The buildings in Liberland are designed in Zaha Hadid Architects' signature style, with curvaceous, sinuous forms and rounded corners. However, many of the buildings have elements that are not supported from the ground, which is not possible in the real world due to gravity. The City Hall, which is the central urban heart of Liberland, has a terraced walkway that wraps around the building. Liberland will function as a freestanding virtual reality realm with the ambition of becoming the go-to site for networking and collaboration within the Web 3.0 industry. The project caters to both the libertarian community and the blockchain-empowered Web 3.0 developer community, who collectively understand the power and potential behind a permissionless realm of interchange and technology-powered prosperity. The process of designing for metaverse step 1 create the virtual model the first step in designing for the metaverse is to create a virtual model of the space you want to bring to life this can be done using a variety of tools including bim software like revit bim software allows you to create detailed and accurate models of buildings which is essential for creating a realistic and immersive experience in the metaverse. In recent years, AI-powered BIM tools like Hypar have become increasingly popular for creating virtual models for the metaverse. These tools can use text descriptions to generate 3D models, which can save a significant amount of time and effort. Step 2. Importing into Unity. Unity is a game engine that is used to create interactive 3D experiences. Once you have created your model in Revit, you can import it into Unity to add interactivity and animation. Once you have created your model in Revit, you can import it into Unity. To do this, you will need to export your model from Revit as an FBX file. Then, you can import the FBX file into Unity. Step 3. Applying materials. In Unity, you can apply materials to your model to make it look more realistic. You can also add lighting and other effects to create a more immersive experience. When applying materials, it is important to keep in mind that the materials should be high quality. This will help to create a more realistic and immersive experience. The materials should be consistent. This means that the materials should look the same throughout the model. The materials should be appropriate for the environment. For example, you would not want to use a snow material in a desert environment. Step 4. Importing to Mona. Mona is a platform that allows you to create and share virtual worlds in the metaverse. Once you have finished your project in Unity, you can import it to Mona to share it with others. How can architects mint cryptocurrency with designing in metaverse? Step 1. Create a playable and mintable space. The metaverse could be a simple 3D model of a building, or a more complex interactive environment. Make sure that the space is saved in a format that can be minted on the Mona blockchain by saving it as both playable and mintable space. Step 2. Set up and connect a cryptocurrency wallet. Create or use an existing cryptocurrency wallet that is compatible with Mona. This wallet will serve as your digital vault for storing and managing your cryptocurrency tokens. Connect the wallet to the Metaverse platform to enable seamless transactions and interactions within the virtual space. Step 3. Start a space. In the Metaverse platform, initiate the process of starting a new space. This typically involves selecting the desired parameters, such as the name of the space, its purpose or theme, and any additional settings relevant to its functionality. The platform will guide you through the necessary steps to establish the space. Step 4. Upload playable and mintable files. Once the space is set up, you need to upload the playable and mintable design files that represent the virtual environment you have created. These files should be in a format that can be experienced by users and tokenized as unique assets. Ensure that the files are compatible with the Metaverse platform's requirements and guidelines.
Step 5. Mint the space. The final step is to mint the space, which essentially means creating a unique digital asset on the blockchain that represents your architectural design. Minting involves assigning a specific value to your creation and establishing ownership rights. Once minted, your design becomes a distinct cryptocurrency asset that can be bought, sold, and traded within the Mona ecosystem. NFT in architecture with artificial intelligence tools. Text to BIMAI tools like Hypar can make it even easier for architects to create and tokenize their designs as NFTs. These tools can automatically generate 3D models from text descriptions, which can then be used to create NFTs. This can save architects a significant amount of time and effort, and it can also help to ensure that their designs are accurate and realistic. The combination of NFTs and text to BIMAI tools has the potential to revolutionize the way that architecture is practiced. Architectural Metaverse Concept Design with AI Text to Image Generation Tools like Midjourney is another exciting new development in the field of NFT architecture. Midjourney can generate realistic images from text descriptions. This means that architects can now create concept designs for buildings in Metaverse that would be impossible to create with traditional methods. Architects will be able to create and sell digital copies of their designs as NFTs in Metaverse. This will allow them to generate new revenue streams and to reach a wider audience. Can artificial intelligence tools actually benefit NFT architecture? AI generative tools are capable of producing an enormous amount of architectural designs in an extremely short period, leading to potential degradation of the quality of the design. Legal and ethical concerns can develop when AI models collect data from the web without consideration for copyright or privacy. The NFT architects are adapting to AI to enrich their architectural design, However with the declining quality of AI architecture and copyright difficulties, the monitor of value of architectural NFT is depleted. To what extent do NFT marketplaces still matter to architects in this age of AI tools? The key to success for architectural NFT projects is to create a marketing buzz that makes them stand out from the crowd. This means developing a unique and compelling story for your project, as well as finding creative ways to reach your target audience. You should also focus on building a strong community around your project, as this will help to generate interest and excitement. While AI tools can be used to create NFTs of architecture, there is a clear gap in the market for NFTs of heritage buildings and sites. This is an area where AI tools cannot yet tap into, and it is an area with great potential for architects to make money. Let us explore this further. Metaverse for Heritage Site Recreation there are already a number of projects underway that are using the metaverse to recreate heritage sites. For example, the Royal Commission for Alula has created a digital recreation of the UNESCO World Heritage Site of Hegra in the metaverse. This recreation allows users to explore the site in 3D, and even to enter some of the tombs that are not accessible in real life. Another example is the project by Lithodomos VR to recreate the ruins of Rome in the metaverse. This project uses smartphone headsets to create an immersive experience that allows users to walk around the ruins and explore them in detail. The metaverse has the potential to do much more than simply recreate heritage sites. It can also be used to provide educational experiences, to facilitate research, and to create new forms of cultural engagement. Disadvantages of NFT low quality and replicable architecture nfts claim to counteract duplication and promote uniqueness however some people worry that this could lead to a surge in budget architecture much like the clothing industry in fast fashion this is because if the architect who designed a building makes it cheap enough to buy they could allow unrestrained duplications of the building this could lead to a world where we see the same building over and over again environmental impact the creation and trading of NFTs consumes a lot of energy. This is because most NFTs are traded on the Ethereum network, which uses a mining process to confirm trades and transactions. The energy used in mining is a major concern for many people, as it can add to carbon emissions if non-clean energy sources are used. The way ahead. The metaverse is a growing market for NFT architectural work. Platforms like Decentraland, 
The Sandbox and Crypto Voxels allow users to purchase land and build virtual structures, such as stores, art galleries, and even entire cities. These platforms sell millions of dollars worth of virtual land each month, and the active users in these metaverses are a potential market for architects who can design and build unique and immersive NFT architectural works. The metaverse is a rapidly growing space, and the demand for NFT architectural work is likely to continue to grow in the years to come. Architects who are interested in this new field should start learning about the metaverse and NFTs, and develop the skills they need to create unique and immersive NFT architectural works. Teji is at the forefront of implementing NFT and metaverse architectural design. For more videos about innovations in architecture, BIM, and 3D laser scanning, please like, subscribe, and click on the bell icon.